Hey everybody, so it's about midnight, and I'm down here at the shop. I've been wanting to come down here late at night and do a session for a while, and we got a little rain tonight. I felt it in the air, so I figured I'd come down here and do a session. Now, something came in the mail today. Let me turn on the... Uh, let me turn on the matrix first. I think I want to go to the matrix tonight. It's going to take a minute here. Hold on. Got to take off Bluetooth. Oh, now my printer's going to turn on. Go figure. He's very clever. Up to now, we made a slip and a bad one. Hey, guys. I feel somebody right behind me. Who's behind me? I am. Who's I am? Please don't be bashful. I'm here. I'm here for you guys to do this tonight. Lewis is here. Yes. Jasper, are you here, bud? Who else is here? I don't know what, what's the music. <laughs> I don't hear music often on the uh, live stream here. A little strange. Let's see if we can speed it up a little bit. You guys all right to speed it up? We'll knock it up 300 milliseconds. Okay, so what's going on tonight, guys? Nothing? Where you guys been? Been what? Man, must be a week since I really talked to you. What you guys been doing? So, you guys... I got in the mail today, today, 1938 GE, these are so hard to come by and I, I'm always looking for them because I think they just look awesome. And I made two of these when I first started doing these a year ago. And it took me that long to find this one. There is another one right now on eBay. But it's, it's already at like 230 bucks. There's your no goodwill. So I, I try to get them when I can, but i, I got to be able to afford it. They are man. So it came into the house today, and uh, I got chilly, so I smoked it. And I got even chillier after I smoked it. You don't know where these things come from. <laughs> so was it wise of me to smoke that thing? Sure. Sure. know what kind of energy is on anything when you buy antiques, when you go to flea markets, garage sales, anything. Sometimes I even smoke my radios after investigation. Wait, after all. 
So what I'll do is I'll sand that down, and I'm going to make it identical to the last two that I that I made. We'll put the um, the the sound sensitive LEDs on the side. I'll put my amp down here. I'll put a speaker back here. Um, I don't know if I'll put a scanning radio in this one or not. It's possible. Um, I'll put a reverb here, and I've got a new um, I got a new noise canceler. It has a few more options than just cutting out the signal, so I'm going to try that in here, I think, and hopefully that will allow me to cut signals without cutting signals, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe we can just get rid of some of that static without the signal actually cutting out. And um, what I've been doing here, sorry, I'm just walking all over the place. What I've been doing is testing out different effects with my with my Digitech. This is my this is for my guitar. It has hundreds and hundreds of effects, and you can put them all together. There's different amps. There's different um, tones. There's cabs. There's simulators. There's effects. All sorts of effects. There's a effects looper. So I've been trying to you know, plug in radios to it and just listen with my headphones to try and find some really cool effects, something that will just take some static out. And I found it in here, but trying to find that in an actual pedal is really hard. So we'll see what this new one's gonna do. If anything. You guys know the pedal I bought? Will I have success with the new pedal? Are you sure? Am I sure? George, is that you? Oh man, I got a chill. Was that you, George? Who's here? Louis, Jasper, George, are you all here? Yes, okay. So listen, um, we went to um, Liza's shop, what, a month ago? And we're going to go back real soon. And we found out that it was not only the Elks Club, but it was also a bar. And one of the spirits there, her name is Samantha. Now Sam is also there. As you know, Sam was the um, owner of the buggy and carriage place that was her old shop and um, my girlfriend was talking to her mother about Liza's shop and she didn't remember when it was the Elks Club but she remembered when it was Sam's Bar and I didn't know that it was called Sam's Bar I don't know if it's the same Sam I wouldn't think so I think one was 1800 late 1800s and this is probably 1950 but there is a chance that maybe we're getting Sam's mixed up. Maybe the Sam that we're talking to is from Sam's bar, since these places are so close together, and not Sam's buggy. There's no way to know yet, so we've got to figure that out. Can you guys tell me which Sam it is that we're talking to? Um, is it bar or the buggy? Correct. Correct. Which one, bar or buggy? <laughs> Jasper Lewis, if you guys can, I, I'm thinking that it's that it's more buggy because Jasper and Lewis know him. But if I can get a confirmation whether it's bar or buggy, that would be so helpful. Can we even call Sam in? Can Sam come and talk to me? Candles? Sam, can you come in? Sam, are you here? 
Yeah, I'm not hearing it. Well, maybe I got an answer the first couple times I asked. We'll see. So I, I don't really have much more to uh, to to add to this um, little session here. Just that I wanted to come down and, and give this this radio a little scrubbing. Um, talk to the guys for a second. I go back home because it is late. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do is blow out the candles. And if you guys would like to show yourselves in the smoke, we'll end it with that. What do you say, yes or no? All right. Thank you guys. It was nice talking to you. Good night. All right, you guys. I'm going to say goodbye to you, too. I got to do a little work. I'm going to go home. Have a good night. Goodbye.